Maverick Trading is always looking for new technologies and cutting edge software. In over 25 years, we've found many different successful strategies. However, they all are dependent on a good software system. Since our traders trade firm capital, we want to make sure they have their best foot forward. Thinkorswim is one of the best options pricing tools out there and a favorite amongst the Maverick community. As a community, we like to share our findings with each other and the public. If joining a community is something that you'd be interested in and being a professional trader, come check us out. Let's get into the tutorial. Well, hello and welcome once again, folks. Let's continue our how-to series on Thinkorswim. We're going to go over some chart drawing. This might be pretty remedial for most of you, but hey, I've got no problem taking a couple of seconds to just point out a couple of things. So first things first, we jump directly into our Thinkorswim, and I am going to be up here on the drawings tab. At first you'll see it up here along with everything else that we've covered so far in this series. But as Thinkorswim always does, there's always a better place or a secondary place to do this. So I'm gonna start with that, which is down here at the bottom and it's set to this little cursor arrow, which I have my active tool right now. If you notice, I put my cursor up here on the screen and you can see it's an arrow and I've got the crosshair set. Now, let's go ahead and click on this arrow down here, and we have this beautiful little drop down of all sorts of very common tools. Now, once again, if I go back up to this drawings here, I could go down to drawing tools, and it gives me a, a, a rollover window that gives me the exact same selections. So let's start with the easy part down here, and let's go through a couple of these. The first one is a pointer finger. This is a, a really great thing to allow you to click, hold, drag, and move up and down. So I'm just going to regular click and hold. You can see I can move this up and down, left and right. I can circle it anywhere I want. Uh, it just lets you navigate it uh, easier and quicker. Let's move down to our tool set again, and you'll see that we've got a couple other things. Channel line here, a trend line. We've got uh, price levels and time levels. So what you can do is when you went, we went through our chart settings, we could drop down uh, options expiration cycles. However, you could drop a line anywhere you want. So if I get this up, I can uh, go up to the top here, regular click once, and then regular click again, and it'll drop a line. That's what I've found. So uh, regular click once, regular click again, and it drops a line. Now this just drops the same vertical line that gives you a space on the time. You can also do dollar amount, and that's what that is. So I can do a horizontal line anywhere I want by doing the same regular click, um, move it to where I want to put it, mm, right where it's at, and then just regular click, click again and it drops the line for you. Let's pull up a couple of more drawings before I show you how to erase all these things. Here you have a text box. You can just regular click anywhere you want. It pulls it up. I'm just gonna say price action here. And I'm gonna hit enter or okay. And it drops this little thing that says price action. Now, if I go back down here to my finger or my arrow, I can actually left click hold and I can drag this thing anywhere I really wanna put it. So. Wherever you want to place it after you play after you type it. So understand you're gonna to have to place it after you do so. Going back to our draw set, let's add one more line, or I'll show you one more feature I think is pretty cool. Uh, these this oval here and or the rectangle. Now what's neat about this is you could choose either one, but it is a left click and then you drag, right? I let go and then I drag. And what I'm trying to do here is just, you know, wherever you want to drop this, as soon as I click again, it drops it and it highlights the area. So if you really want to show something or really focus in on whatever you want to do, uh, it will separate. You can see basically by the color. You can also do this with a, a rectangle, but it's a real cool place to highlight. Now anytime, no matter what tool I'm on, if I right click on an existing drawing, I can go down to here to remove drawing. I could do a uh, clear drawing set. Now you can do all sorts of different things from this area, but I'm just showing you the drawing applications and this is what I usually use this for. So remove the drawing or clear the drawing set, which will take everything off. So if you want to do them one at a time, I'll just hit remove. You can see that that uh, horizontal line is gone. Let's get rid of this vertical line, remove drawing. Now let's see if I can't get rid of the price that we talked, this, uh, this text box we put up and this highlighted circle at the same time. So if I go right click, and just go down to clear drawing set. Now it'll tell you, are you sure you want to do it? You hit okay and all your drawings are gone, right? Easy. Moving on through the list, we've got all sorts of different things you can do here. You got channel lines, these are super helpful. This is your Fibonacci sequencing. You've got the retracement. You also have the extension. This is one that I use quite often. So if the extension's really neat, I could take a measurement from let's say this bottom, I'm just clicking once. Uh, as I move my cursor up, this moves by itself and then I click again and then I pull back down here and click a third time. 
and it's giving me not only the uh, measurement from the beginning, but the Fibonacci retracement from the extension. And what this shows is, uh, or, or excuse me, it gives me the extension from the current retracement based on the first move. So it's an anticipation of what you can expect using the Fibonacci suite sequence moving forward. Once again, this isn't a class I'm teaching, but if you right click any one of these lines, it gives us a remove drawing set and we can remove them. All right. So you can play with this all you want. Please go out there, test it, uh, have some fun with it. Um, there's all sorts of different things that you can do and hopefully they're gonna be super helpful. Hopefully you got a lot out of this class. Thanks for joining me as always, guys, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, folks.